This program is brought to you by Emory University. The key to the new public health is to make sure that girl children and young women are well nourished. And stop me if I've told you this before, but we went to the Gates Foundation and they have big programs in India. So they were telling us about this program and I said, well, that's fine, you're giving it to the mother, giving food to mothers and mothers-to-be, that's a good thing to do, but how do you know it gets to the baby? And there's no particular biological reason that I know. If you put it in mummy, it gets to baby. Why wouldn't mummy keep it to herself if she's undernourished? Might be a better strategy. And certainly, if you feed adolescent pregnant girls, it, the baby comes out smaller because the mum just takes it because her growth is hierarchically more important than the baby's growth. So that it had never occurred to the Gates. And nobody had ever pointed out, yeah, putting it in mummy is great, but you've got to get it to baby. That means you've got to get it across the placenta. And we don't know enough about the human placenta to know how to do that. It's a massive gap. And that's going to be a big, big bit in the coming 10 years. And what do we know? It's probably nobody in the CDC has figured it out. But uh, we know that the baby effectively takes over control of the mother turns off the mother's pituitary and becomes the hormone regulator. She, the placenta's in charge. So the idea that the mother, that you're not asking mothers to go jogging. We know that if women, <coughs> there's an amazing study by a man called Jim Clapp, and he, he studied a group of pregnant women who r ran half marathons, which is, of course, biologically absurd. <coughs> when the baby needs your blood, why don't you, why do you divert it to your muscle? And <coughs> What happened was the baby got distressed and started to grow masses of placenta to try and get what it needed from the mother. I say to my girls, pe people are thin because that's regarded as being attractive. So they work on that. But the body composition and form that optimizes the chances of mating may not be optimal for the fetus. There's no reason why it should be. Of course, my girls don't take any notice because I'm, who am I, but just their father. But um, it, it is the truth. And I was rung by the New York Times <clears throat> and they said, look, we've got a, they wouldn't tell me who it was, but some celebrity, whatever that means, who was saying that she wasn't going she was pregnant, she wasn't going to put on any weight and she was going to leave the maternity hospital wearing the jeans she was wearing when she conceived the child. And I was completely dumbfounded by that. I mean, it's so against the run of biology that you need to accumulate fat if you're pregnant because what's your, what your baby's going to live off after it's born. I made, I made such a poor joke, I won't rehearse it. The, 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 the reporter put the phone down. I mean, I was dumbfounded, really. It's such an absurd idea should come forward. And in, 100 years ago, when more than half of all Americans lived on farms. Nobody would have articulated such a bizarre idea. So you're a baby, and you're battling because all babies are challenged. <coughs> now, it wouldn't be a bad idea, since you've already taken over the mother's pituitary, if you could regulate her appetite. I mean, if there was such a mechanism, that would be smart. You know, mother lunch, please, mommy. And <coughs> But what the baby can do is only two tricks. One, it can enhance the appetite in this kind of weird way, so the mother ends up eating lumps of coal and all kinds of inappropriate things. Or it can make the mother sick. Now, there's advantage. there could be advantage in that, because if the mother is, becomes, takes in less food, that could be, this isn't known, but it's a reasonable speculation, could be a stimulus to the placenta to enlarge. So it's possible that sickness in pregnancy has a biological urge, is a biological basis. But it, this, th these are very good lines of thought. If you do something good to the embryos, you improve all kinds of things in terms of what really matters to you and me, cognitive function, mood, psychological things. Now, that, that is a bit that's coming out strongly from the human literature. So that's good news because it says if you make embryos, give them a better accommodation and nutrition, then you will not only reduce disease, but you will improve the well-being of people.
The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.